Hi, I'm Sarah with Trimec. In this video, I'm going to show you XDesign, which is a cloud-based CAD modeler available through the 3D Experience platform and the SolidWorks Cloud Bundle. In the previous video in this series, my colleague Wayne started creating this model in a different modeling app called XShape. So Wayne created this really artistic and smoothly blended uh, sled shape which I'm going to take into X-Design and put some parametric uh, sketch-based finishing touches onto this model. So uh, let's take a look at getting started in the platform and jumping into X-Design. Once I'm logged into the platform, the first thing I like to do is check for notifications. So here I can see Wayne has mentioned me in a comment. Uh, looks like he has made a post in our consumer products feed. Um, and in this post, he has included a picture. Uh, it's a markup of a model he has made. So he wants me to add holes where we can insert a rope and then pull the sled and then also add some handles. I'll just write a quick comment to let him know that I'm going to work on this. Over here on my X Design page, I also have my bookmark editor app showing to the right. Now this is an app that lets me organize my important files and give them more of a uh, set folder structure. We can see lots of metadata for this file and I can lock this file before I make any changes to it. Locking a file allows only me to make changes. That way, if anyone else were to open this part, it would be in read only and we don't have people overriding each other's work. We can see the sled open in XDesign, and this is the shape that Wayne created in XShape. So the subdivision surface feature came from XShape, and then he applied a thicken feature uh, to make this a one millimeter thick solid body. Now I'll go ahead and get started making some changes to this model and adding features to it here in XDesign. First, I've entered a sketch and I'm going to create the profile for our first handle shape. Across the bottom of the screen, you can see a number of standard sketch tools, lines, arcs, slots, to name a few. Um, here I've drawn a slot and I'm just using the dimension tool to add a couple of constraints and fully define this sketch. Across the top of this slot shape, I'm going to add a series of arcs to allow for a more natural hand grip across the top of this cutout. After applying a dimension to one of the arcs, I can then go along and select the four arcs. And with the quick pop-up menu, I can apply a constraint to make all of the selected entities equal. And then to align them, I can select the center points of each arc and set them to be horizontal to one another. Lastly, we'll have all of the center points of the arcs match up with the center line of our slot shape. Now, SolidWorks users may be familiar with the Power Trim tool. And the Trim tool in XDesign is very similar and accomplishes the same goal. It's going to uh, just remove any contours that you draw across and just leave that outer profile. I've gone back and added a few more constraints to fully define this sketch. I can go back with the sketch fillet and just apply a small round where we have those sharp intersections between the arcs. Now let's take a look at where this sketch sits in 3D space. It's along our ZX plane, which runs right down the middle of the model. Now I want to cut out this shape in both directions, but when I open the extrude tool, you'll, no you'll notice that the preview shows us adding material. This is because the extrude tool encapsulates more than just a solid extrude. I can change the type to a cut, then change the direction to through all, and now we've created a cut extrude for those nice handle shapes up front. Just to keep my feature tree a little more organized, I can always rename my features and sketches.
The next feature I'm going to create will be pretty similar. I'm going to use the slot shape again. This time it'll be a vertical slot, and this will be for the larger handle in the back of the sled. Once the sketch is fully defined, I'll head over to apply an additional extruded cut. 2D sketches in X Design can be used for all of those features across the bottom that you see, including lofts, revolves, sweeps, etc. And then I'll rename this feature for the back handle. Duplicating features in X Design is easy. We have patterns that can be applied, or we can utilize the mirror tool whenever we want to reflect symmetrically. So I'll pick that ZX plane and reflect the back handle feature across. Lastly, we will need to add a couple of holes to the sled to allow for us to put a rope and then actually pull the sled. So I've sketched one circle towards the front of the sled. Now when I go to sketch a second circle, we get these really intelligent sketch shortcuts. That little pink circle um, automatically adds this equal relation. So just with those little snappy um, shortcuts by your mouse, we can connect these to sketch entities. So then when I change the size of one, the size of the other changes. And we'll put one last cut extrude on here. I've mentioned that XDesign is a history-based parametric modeler, which means that the features listed to the left represent the order of the features that build this part. Now, I want my cut extrude three to be included in our mirror feature to have those two circular cuts reflected to the other side. So I just did a quick drag and drop to change the order of the features. Now, when I edit that mirror feature, I can include the cut extrude three and really take advantage of that symmetry. Let's check out the new order of the features. Great, now the last finishing touch I'll put on here is I will apply a material. We have a number of materials that come with the 3D Experience Platform Library. I'll pick polyethylene high density. And after that material is applied, the density associated with that material will allow me to get some accurate mass properties and mass calculations off of this body. So we can see the material as well as its density listed there. I would prefer the mass to be reported in pounds rather than grams. So I'll quickly change that and make a note of that mass so that I can share it with my team. To let everyone know I've finished my work on this model, I'll publish a picture to our consumer products community. and just let them know the changes I've made and the final mass. Now that my work is done, I'll remember to save the file. And another thing that I will do to free up this file for future use is I will unlock it. That way other people will be able to access it should they need to. And we can see my post over here in our consumer products community. From the makers of SOLIDWORKS, X-Design provides powerful modeling capabilities right within your browser through the 3D Experience platform. Check out the rest of the videos in this series to see what else comes included with the SOLIDWORKS Cloud Bundle.